I'll be showing you how we ran our multiple version study using this code here from the Bugs and Frack website. So first thing we did is we took the code and we put it into a file. Here with .c under the folder blexum data. And then here's our script. We make sure it points to the right folder and we run it. Now that we've ran the script on the first version, we can check out the results. So what it does is it prints out the variable, the file name, the function name that was in, and the actual name of the token with other information about the variable, including its use cases. Now the next thing we do is we make a new version. So here's the old version for comparison, and then the new version of Bluxum 2 we have right here. What I did with the new version is I removed variable unsigned short s, so I removed all its statements, and then I changed this if into a while that decrements i until it's the correct size. Now that we have this new file saved here, we go to Eclipse and we change where the script is running. And we have the new output here. See, it only has variable i and arg c. Now that we have these two scripts, we move them to a new folder, which I titled Blexin versions, and I've already moved them there. So then you go to the script that compares the different versions, make sure it's pointing to the right directory, and we run it, and we get a comparison file. Now what this is saying is that it found three integers in the first version and two in the second and it stores a lot of other information as well. It says that the variable i had a usage change and you can see the different types that it was used as. It also mentions that the variable s was removed from the second file. 